This is at Ditchin and Beacon Dark Sky Discovery Site, and it's another one owned by the National Trust, so there is a, a fee to pay. But you can see when you get here, what a great view we've got all the way across from north to south of the Downs. And this is a really good site if you're in Brighton, because it is just up the road, uh, and what a great view you're going to get as you can see here but I would suggest not staying in the car park for too long because it is quite busy uh, as you can see but wander further around up this path here and into the actual reserve itself and you'll get some much better conditions if you just take a short walk through that gate up in the distance. So we've taken a short walk up from the car park at Ditchin and Beacon uh, and you can see we're not very far away from it but do be careful when you do come up here through the gate because as you can see it is quite rutted uh, and you will have to be careful where you walk. Now one of the benefits of this site is you don't have to go very far and I actually advise that you don't go very far because you can use the downs that rises behind you as a pair of sunglasses and if you leave your eyes long enough they will kind of act out and filter out some of that brightness from the south coast cities which makes this site quite dark so if you want a good night close to brighton this is not a bad spot to come to <laughs>